New Year's Day and we are at Montemar uh, Resort on the Italian island and uh, we just got here and set up the food and stuff we're starting to eat. We got a whole mess of, uh, well we almost had a mess of and it, that was part of a roasted pig that we had started on last night and there was a bucket of scallops somewhere but I think they're gone. The bucket, oh there's a bucket of you know, scallops over here that everybody's digging into and uh, I don't know how much wind noise there is so hopefully it's not too bad but those are the uh, rooms you can rent here and these are the little cabanas they call them cottages here and as you see we're right on the beach it's low tide right now so that's why you see some of that seaweed and stuff out there this over here is Virgin Island and that's another uh, island hopping destination and supposedly they're fixing it up pretty nice and over here is Hila Tugaan and that's an island hopping destination too uh, but usually you'll just snorkel uh, they got some nice coral in a marine preserve over there and as you can see you got a pretty long beach here it is you know white sand beach all the way and over here they got some kind of a pier or something I don't know what this thing is but uh, it even goes around there I think my dream house is around over there some Swedish guy built like a Tahitian style house there just or just right on the beach they also have a swimming pool which I'm gonna go to after I eat but uh, I wanted to uh, kind of start this thing off pretty quick I think the fee here is 150 pesos per adult and 100 pesos per children and I don't know what the children's age uh, limit is but that's the prices so uh, anyway really nice place really nice beach <coughs> uh, pardon me so uh, oh there's some more rooms there that you can rent you know to stay the night and then again the wind is pretty uh, loud I mean, pretty strong. We're getting a nice, really nice cool breeze coming off the ocean. Uh, tropical breeze. And I will be back with more of my paradise on Bentayan Island. Bye for now. All right, well, I'm back. And we're going to do a little walk around here. Again, we got the little uh, cabanas. They call them cottages. Uh, here for a minute. Uh, I got a barbecue grill going over there. <laughs> These are, I'm guessing, the non-air-conditioned rooms, and over there, I'm guessing those are air-conditioned, because those are more like a cement, and these are just uh, like a bamboo, uh, thin wall type. We got two, four, six, looks like six of these rooms here, and over there, they got two, four over there, and uh, we're heading over to the, where the pool is. They've got some nice rock outcroppings here. Uh, natural. Kind of built on the edge of, of that. You can see that. And then this is all uh, these rocks. This is actually, uh, if you chip them off, you'll see they're white in, inside limestone. The outside gets black for some reason. This is man made. This black thing here where the kids are. It's like a kids pool here. And everybody's having a blast. And I'm gonna go up here. It's my first time to walk here too, so here they got showers for rinsing off. CRs. And uh, again here's all of the the rock formations and these are natural. That's a real tree there. I was going my camera up. There's a lot of a lot of uh, suns right there. There's a bunch of banana trees over there. Uh, yeah, this is your natural coral rock here. It looks like a meteorite or something, but it's just coral. It's uh, grown out of the uh, earth. There's a big old roots going down into that stuff there. So we'll continue on up to the to the pool, and uh, yeah, pretty nice pool here. Yeah, it's nice and a uh, nice wall around here pretty nice looking place I'm really surprised I didn't know that this was here I may have seen it before maybe on the internet but I didn't really think nothing of it 
that uh, they got a really nice beach area and uh, they've done a good job a lot of these places put a lot of money into these and I don't know how they get the money out but like that wall ain't cheap because it goes way over there all the way down to the beach and here's the pool looking out at the beach we'll go over here take a look around really nice all the trees and things all the palm trees are like kind of like a perfect you know beach setting water's nice and clear and clean sometimes you'll get pools that are kind of all cloudy and stuff it's because you're not using the chemicals that they're supposed to use and again here's kind of like where the water goes over the edge and down into the children's pool and they're having a great time so there and again you see the ocean right there it's low tide but still looks pretty good there's a nice sandy uh, beach all the way out to the to the water and beach beyond uh, so that's uh, what we got up here I'm gonna go around I don't know if it extends around behind those uh, other I'm saying air conditioned rooms I'm assuming that's what they are we'll see I'll walk over, over there I'll shut the video off for now and then we'll be back with more from my paradise on the Italian island. Bye for now. And here's another shot from the pool area looking down upon the beach. It's really nice. You can see they're uh, actually got maintenance people cleaning stuff, which is uh, pretty amazing. You know? Oh, sorry, that's my finger in front of him trying to kind of hide the microphone from the wind noise. Like I said, we got a really nice uh, ocean breeze here. But, uh, yeah, all the coconut trees are swaying in the breeze. You think he's in Tahiti or someplace? So anyway, I'm gonna walk down, like I said, go around behind those buildings and see if there's uh, any more to the resort. And I'll be back with more. Bye for now. All right. Well, we we did walk around to the uh, around the end of these, and they are air con. You can see the little air conditioning units there. It's uh, air conditioned rooms and there's a fence and a private property no trespassing so what it looks like is somebody has a house here really nice house too i don't know that kind of zoomed in too too much but really nice house and this is all their beach can you imagine that living here with that much uh this is like a coconut plantation kind of a style you see they're all in long rows so but they're all trimmed if you look up there's no coconuts because i guess they don't want them falling on your head but every one of these is trimmed there's no coconut so it's not a plantation at this time but maybe at one time it might have been but it takes i'm guessing 20 years to get a coconut tree that tall so it's been around for a while and i take that back there's a couple of coconuts right up there but all these other the other ones are totally trimmed and, and uh, I guess they have a, like a groundskeeper here. They have a nice house like this. They have a groundskeeper. If you look back there, you can see it's really nice. They just, uh, some people take great care of their properties all right. here. We're back once again and uh, you know, I, if you look through all of my videos, you'll see one that was how to eat fresh, you know, scallops. Well, we've had some technological advances since then and this is the new way. What we got is uh, on the scallops, after you get them out of the shell, this is the shell here, they just come right it out. And then there's a little black spot, see that little black spot? That contains like the algae and stuff, that's actually the scallop stomach. So as they eat the plankton and that algae goes there and then it's digested and feeds the rest of it. But normally you don't eat that. What we were doing was pinching it off with our fingers. Well, now check this out. Show them, Dan. Using this. Use the scallop and you pinch it off like that, voila, and that's all it takes. So you use that, use the shell yep. to actually okay. pinch it. Yeah. Okay. Dan will demonstrate one more time here just so everybody gets it right. There's the, yeah, there's the black spot. Take that the scallop pinch it. Dan, you're going too fast. I gotta show you going up to here. Okay. <laughs> so we gotta do one more because Dan. Uh, 
and the professional and he's, he's very fast so <laughs> we have to uh, all right so here's the scallop in in the shell here i'll show you one this is the way they look right right here they're stuck to one side so you just pull that off and then after you pull it off then it looks like that again you pinch it with that you get all the stuff and then oh, pop it in and boom scallop in heaven <laughs> so Anyway, just want to show everybody uh, the newest, latest technology in scallop e eating. And we'll be back with more from my paradise on Italian Island. Bye for now.